Hello, this is Daniel Bryant with Map the Experience. In this short video, I'm going to go over our digital river fishing map for the Eagle River, the, actually the upper Eagle River, which starts around Camp Hale, Colorado by Red Cliff and flows south and west all the way to Dot Cerro. The upper Eagle River map actually covers the river from Camp Hale to about Edwards, 30 miles. Now all of our maps uh, can be found, downloaded, purchased, and used in a free PDF map app from Avenza. If you don't already have that installed on your mobile and you want to purchase this map after I show it to you, you will need to install the Avenza PDF map app which is this icon right here that I'm going to press. Now when PDF Maps opens, and if you've already have maps downloaded into it, then it opens into the Maps page and you're going to see the maps. I am going to scroll down and find the Upper Eagle River map right there. Now I'm going to minimize this map a little bit. The one thing that you're going to notice is you'll see a blue dot. That blue dot is my location right now. Since I'm within the map's extent, I live right in Avon, Colorado, that blue dot actually shows my current location. And if I were moving, driving around, walking, that blue dot would follow me. Now you can use that blue dot to navigate anywhere you want to on the map. It reads the internal uh, GPS that's built into your phone and the great thing about our maps and this app is that you do not need any cell phone or internet coverage for the map to work. So this is the Upper Eagle River which begins up here just above Red Cliff, Colorado and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit and then it flows southwest through the town of Minturn through Avon and then into Edwards and then on west to Dot Cerro. Now one thing you're going to notice about our maps, there's always an overview map which shows the general map area. Um, we include a float chart and a hatch chart on every map. So if you're a floater it's going to show you put-ins, takeouts, mileages for your floats. Uh, the other map the Lower Eagle River map actually has a hatch chart on it so you, you know which insects are hatching, what time of year, what bugs to use. And then we also have a legend on the map and the legend is going to show our different icons, fishing access, guide services, trailheads, rapids, boat ramps, ranger stations, public private access, dining, points of interest, parking lots, campsites information, and then river mile markers. So you can see there's a lot of information on these maps. And then you're going to notice that you have this red, um, uh, I'm sorry, looks like a rifle scope. So that actually, you can drill down on the map and then that rifle scope, if you happen to find a spot that you particularly like for fishing, maybe you've caught a big fish there or you just like it in general what you can do is you can blow in on these maps and then using the pin down here in the lower left hand corner you can drop a place mark and then you can click on I and you can edit this place mark so you can give it a name maybe it's Bob's Hole that's what you're gonna call it uh, you can uh, then give it a description down below. Maybe um, you want to talk about it. Maybe it's the day you were fishing it. Uh, November 7th, uh, weather clear, water temp you could put in. Uh, maybe it was 50 degrees, uh, maybe the flies that you used. So you kind of get it. You can do a lot with that. I'm going to go back. Um, and then photos. So if you click on the photos, you can actually access your camera. 
you can take pictures of your spots you can geotag those pictures to your place mark so I'm gonna go ahead and close those right now what I really want to do is scroll up on the map and you'll see the red and green lines as we go green signifies public land that's accessible for fish access the red is private and obviously private meaning you cannot access those areas so as we start on this map Eagle River begins up here in the headwaters uh, basically up around Camp Hale which uh, used to be an old army training site that's no longer there but still has the name Camp Hale it was actually the 10th Mountain Division that trained there during World War two and huge history on that if you want to look it up on the internet pretty fascinating um, you can see there's some pretty good access through Camp Hale the one thing I would tell you is that the river was diverted this long straight section that you see right here uh, kind of running the pointer over and uh, the river was diverted it's shallow fishing isn't too good in this upper section but now as you get further down into this area down here um, this is called Pando right here down by McAllister Gulch there's actually a little dirt road that runs uh, down to the river right here and in fact it's where this um these parking areas are over here and um, this is all Forest Service land really good access um, not fished very heavily so uh, you may want to check this out if you ever come to Colorado it's worth a drive up there and you'll catch a lot of little browns uh, 10 to 12 maybe 14 inch browns occasional rainbow uh, brook trout and cutthroat are in this upper section and you've got roughly about two miles that you can fish you can actually walk down some railroad tracks that are no longer used to the south here and you can fish this basically way to the town of Red Cliff now if you come into Red Cliff and you drive up Eagle Street there you'll drive to a dead end and you can actually uh, you can actually get on some railroad tracks and fish it upstream uh, the river upstream right there if you'd like to through the town of Red Cliff um, that's pretty well private it's all residential this section right here this is the entrance to what's called Gilman Canyon this is all private and it's owned by a mine there's no access throughout the entire Gilman Canyon until you come out of Gilman Canyon you've come down Battle Mountain Pass and you're coming down Highway 24 and right about in here uh, this little bend right here you can see the road right there that's Highway 24 there's a lot of nice little parking spots all along Highway 6 right here and once again rivers pretty shallow up here but um, pretty decent fishing for small browns especially in the summer with dry flies as you come down here further to the west you come into the town of Minturn there's a little bit of access in Minturn there's a park that you can actually fish right here Minturn Park uh, Minturn Anglers is a great fly shop they're located in Minturn uh, I would suggest you check those boys out when you're in town um, and they can provide guide guided trips for you if you're interested now as we come a little bit further down the river here we come into what's called Dowd's Junction there's a ranger station down here and there's some pretty good access there's quite a few places to park um, you can fish upstream of this parking area right here about mile marker 44 and then you can also fish downstream and downstream you can actually fish quite a ways once again a lot of nice little pullouts down in here along highway 6 you can actually cross right here on a bike bridge get on the train tracks and walk down and you can fish this other side which is um this is actually part of a, a school board land trust and that's open to the public and you can see the, how far down the green line goes on the north side of the river now as you travel further down highway 6 eventually highway 6 gets to a point where it actually crosses underneath 70 and there is a little parking area down here that you can park at but um, most of the river is private down in here there's just a small little section that you can fish as you come into Eagle Vale further west on Highway 6 it's it's almost all private um, there's really no public access through here until you get to the town of Avon 
Now once you get to Avon, we have what's known as Bob the Bridge. Bob the Bridge goes right over I-70, and that's basically at the main entrance to Beaver Creek. In the summertime, you can park in either the big parking lot here called the Elk Lot, or a little bit further to the west is the Bear Lot. And both those lots provide free parking where you can walk across and then walk down to the river, and there's a bike path that runs from Bob the Bridge for one mile downstream to West Beaver Creek Boulevard here. And that's a really nice section of river to fish. Um, you do have a water a sewage treatment plant that's located about halfway down there, so there actually is a little section that is not fishable. For, but for the most part, um, it is open to fishing. Um, you've also got another river here called Fly Fishing Outfitters. Uh, stop in, say hi to John Packer, he's the owner, and they'll take care of you. Lots of great selection of gear and flies, and uh, they can also provide guided trips if you're interested. Um, then, right across West Beaver Creek Boulevard, the bike path actually crosses the river to the south side. It then runs downstream for about a mile. You can fish along the bike path. You can see that marked on the map there. There's another spot parked down at the end here on Highway 6, and you can actually walk the bike path down or upstream uh, to the east. And then we come to, this is a private section called Arrowhead. All the water through Arrowhead is private. However, if you go to the security gate, a little known secret here, you can actually ask if you can get permission to fish, and they have to let a couple of fishermen a day access to that private stretch. So that's something you may want to look at doing. Uh, there's another open space here, a little bit west. It's on Miller Ranch Road. It's called the Eagle County Open Space. Um, there's actually a, a elementary school right here that you can park at and uh, access the river. Uh, and then as we go a little bit further west, um, we come to Edwards. And located in the Riverwalk, Edwards or Vail Valley, there's a um, pretty good fly shop. You can go in and talk to those guys. They can set you up with any gear you need. You can also buy flies in there. There's a um, Edwards Access Road that goes across the river right here. I'm going to blow up on that a little bit more. It goes across the river right here. And there's a rest area you can park at. And I'm going to scroll out a little bit here. You can see the Edwards Rest Area. So you can park right there. And you can fish the river upstream. Um, mostly can't really go downstream very far you can go to the bridge that's about it as you come further west there's a new open space called eagle county open space the eagle river preserve which is right here and that's got great access great river to fish especially evenings in the summer with dry flies come down further to the west come through edwards down highway six um, you're going to get to what's called the Edwards Sanitation Plant right here. And this is the first boat put in on the river. So uh, r right after runoff for four or five, six weeks, typically the river is floatable as the water comes down. And that's when you can put in here and you can float uh, about six miles, seven miles uh, to the town of Walcott and take out at a place called Climbing Rock. But this is uh, this river's fishable here on the north side upstream quite a ways. Um, pretty flat water, um, but uh, you can get some fish out of there, especially early and late in the day. As we come further west, um, we come through a private section owned by Cordillera. And then I-70 basically goes over here. This is actually called Bellyache BLM Access. This is good access. Excuse me. Great access right here, but very heavily fished. So if you're going to fish here, um, you may want to drive down, scope it out first, and see if anybody's parked there. Now on the next map, the Lower Eagle River, I'm going to cover basically from this point here, from Bellyache, downstream all the way to Dot Zero, including the towns of Eagle and Gypsum. So that's the Eagle River Upper Eagle River digital map. Now you can actually buy this map inside of the App Store. So I'm going to go back and click on the Store tab right here. And when I click on the Store tab, 
I'm going to go to Find Maps. And in Find Maps, I'm going to search Fish, Colorado. All one word. And when I do that, hit the search, and then go to your list. And that's going to show all of our uh, fishing maps that we have for download, purchase and download. And that map that, that we were just on, if you scroll down here, uh, it's the Eagle River, there we go, Camp Hale to Edwards map. I'll open that up real fast. Costs $9.99, and if you were to click on that $9.99 right there, you could purchase and download it. Okay, so that's the Upper Eagle River map. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.